Hi, everyone. Let's do some algebra today and get into ratios and proportions. So we're asking if these ratios form a proportional relationship. OK, let's think about this. The way to think about this is to say, let's say we have five pieces in all to some chocolate bar. So one, two, three, four, five. But then let's break up the chocolate bar into 10 pieces. So we'll do the same breakdown here. We'll just break it up into more pieces. OK, so in the first case, I have one piece of chocolate out of these bigger pieces. And in the second case, I have two pieces of chocolate out of these smaller pieces. And the question is, do I have the same amount of chocolate? And I hope that you see that the answer is yes, we have the same amount of chocolate. Um, and that, that's what it means for these ratios to form a proportion. So the answer here would be yes. OK, so let's think of a more mathematical way of doing it. We want to draw a picture every time. All you have to do is divide 2 by 1 and divide 10 by 5 and see if they're the same. So in this case, you have 2 over 1 is 2, 10 over 5 is 2, so yes. OK, so over here, we can do 4 divided by 2. Does it equal 6 divided by 3? Well, I think you know the answer. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So they're the same. And indeed, these ratios form a proportion. OK, how about these? All right, let's do it. So what is 2 divided by 1? Well, it's 2. What's 8 divided by 4? Well, it's also 2. Great. So, so far we're on uh, a yes, yes, yes sort of streak here, right? So, yes. Ooh, maybe we'll end the streak. So, we have 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And we have 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. Aha. So, no. How about here? We've got 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. We have 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. So these are both 3. And the answer is yes. Cool. Um, how about this thing? This is fun. 11 is always. 11 is actually my mom's favorite number. So we have 22 divided by 11. And we have 10 divided by 5. And are these the same? Well, 22 divided by 11 is 2. 10 divided by 5 is 2. These are the same. So, yes. All right, how about this? 16 divided by 8 is 2. 36 divided by 12 is 3. Nope, these aren't the same. These are not in proportion. You have a different amount of chocolate. OK, next time we have a different amount, I'm going to ask you which, which one is more chocolate. And I'm going to see if you guys can figure it out. Because here it's just yes or no, not whether it's bigger or smaller. right? So I'm going to ask you a harder question. So 6 divided by 3 equals, question mark, 14 divided by 7. What do you think? This is 2. This is 2. These are equal. So yes. OK, how about this? Oh, we might get something interesting here. All right, so 2 divided by 1 is 2. 36 divided by 12 is 3. OK, so we know the answer is no. But where do you think we have more chocolate? Which one do you think is bigger? This is just for fun. So if this were a 3, if this were a 3, then we'd have the same amount of chocolate. So since it's less than 3, the 1 12th must be bigger 
than two thirty-sixths? Either way, the answer is no. All right, how about this? Six divided by three is two. 21 divided by seven is three. These are not the same. So the answer is no. Let's take a peek at a couple of these level two questions. Okay, they seem similar. So three divided by one is equal to three. 18 divided by six is equal to three. And so we have that these are in proportion. Okay, guys, I hope you get the hang of it. Um, yeah, uh, you know, think about how proportions show up in your life. Something that's not proportional is say you, your age and your little brother's age or your age and your big sister's age. As you grow up, those ages will, will go out of proportion, right? If your little brother is half as old as you are now, he won't always be half as old as you, right? So try to think about what is proportional in your life and what is not. And on that note, have a great day.